Hi everyone. In this video, we'll solve this question, maximum eraser value. Let's read the question. You are given an array of positive integers nums and want to erase a subarray containing unique elements. The score you get by erasing the subarray is equal to the sum of its elements. Return the maximum score that you can get by erasing exactly one subarray. So I'll explain this. You are given a subarray. You are given an array and you need to calculate the maximum sum of subarray from this array. So that means we need to calculate the sum of the subarray without having a duplicate elements. So the output for this question will be 17, which is the sum of 2, 4, 5, and 6, because this is the subarray which doesn't have any duplicate elements. Similarly, let's see the second example. 5, 2, 1, 2, 5. Oh, it's repeating. So, the maximum sum will be 8, which is 5 plus 2 plus 1. So, you can either take 5, 2, 1, or you can take 1, 2, 5. The answer is same. You just need to return the maximum sum of the subarray having unique elements. So you might be wondering, we can sort the array and we can take the ending numbers and add that. But it's not the case here because we'll distort the indexes here. The index have to be same. The array has to be same. Just that we need to have unique elements. And the sum of the unique elements have to be maximum. We need to find that subarray sum. So we can apply sliding window technique here. I'll explain you how. This is the input. We'll add 4 in the sum. This is the sum variable. We'll add 4. Then we'll move ahead. We'll add 2 in the sum. Which will be 6. Now we'll add 4. But 4 is repeating. So we'll remove this 4. We'll reduce the sum, we'll add this 4 now. We have removed this 4, then we'll add this 4. So again, the sum will be 6. Then we'll increase the window to 5. We'll increase the window to 6. The answer will be 17. Yeah, 17. So this is the maximum sum of the subarray of 2, 4, 5, and 6. What you can take to store the unique elements is a set. Because set stores unique elements in a sorted order. So for this input, set will store 2, 4, 5, and 6. We'll run a loop from 0 till the size of the array, we'll check whether that element is already present in the set or not. If it is present, that means we are encountering a duplicate element. Then we'll remove that element from the set. We'll decrease the sum which we have stored and then we'll again add that variable. It will be better if I explain by showing you the code. First, we are given an input array. We'll calculate the size of the array. We'll store the array in a set, which will store all the unique elements in a sorted way. We'll take a variable sum, initialize it as zero. We'll take a maximum sum variable to calculate the maximum sum. We'll run a loop from i equal zero, j equal zero, j less than n and j plus plus. That is from i equal 0, j equal 0 till n, the size of the array. We'll run a while loop to check whether that element we are encountering is already present in the set or not. If it is present, we'll erase it from the set, we'll decrease the sum and we'll increase our i pointer. This is the pointer. We'll increase the i pointer, we'll remove it from the set We'll remove it from the sum and we'll increase the pointer. To add that 
value inside the set. We'll insert it. We'll increase the sum. And then we'll find the max of max sum and the sum variable. If we are encountering that value, we'll remove it from the set and decrease the sum. If we are not encountering, we'll add it in the set, we'll add it in the sum. And then we'll calculate the max of max sum and sum. We'll return the answer, which will be stored in max sum variable. The time complexity of this code will be O of n. The space complexity will also be O of n. Time complexity O of n because we are, in, we are traversing the whole array from start till end. So O of n. The space complexity because we are taking a set to store the value of the whole array. So space complexity O of n. I submitted the same code on lead code and it has accepted my solution. Let's try to submit it. Yeah, it is accepted. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. That's it for this video. Thank you.